morning everyone. So it's another day here in the beautiful state of Bahia in Brazil and today we're in a spot called Barra Grande which is a really cool beach destination here. It's on a kind of a peninsula, really long peninsula and we're starting the day off with this really nice breakfast that we have in the place that we're staying. So we're staying in that building over there and this Airbnb has like a swimming pool, nice garden area. But yeah, the breakfast is one of the, the best parts. This is included in the price. Always loads of food, isn't it? Yeah, because uh, one of the owners is a, ch a chef, he's in chef, so she knows how to cook all the best stuff. <laughs> yeah, and how much was this place? I forgot. Uh, $50 a day. $50? Yeah. Yeah, so pretty much every day we get this, like uh, sandwiches, got the fruit, got a chocolate cake there. Got some other cakes as well in here. Some cheese bread. And this as well, it looks like a cake, but it's not. It kind of tastes like a pizza because it has a uh, cheese and tomato inside. And I also got a, a tapioca as well. And you got some eggs, I think. Yeah. Over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we can never finish it, but yeah, that's a good problem to have. So this is how it looks on the peninsula around here. It's all dirt roads. There's no paved roads at all for like two hours and nature as well so it's looked uh, amazing from what we've seen so far and we're about to do a boat trip so it's a private boat tour that's going to cost 800 overall and we're meeting our friends andre and uh, larissa who were in the last video we're going to meet them at the beach because they're staying about 10 minutes away from here and yeah then we'll do the boat tour i think it's going to be like four islands or something After about a seven minute walk, this is the beach right next to our place. Beautiful beach. So far during our stay, it always seems pretty empty here, this part. Long beach as well, goes all the way down there. And the cool thing is there's no big hotels or buildings on the beachfront, so there's just little shacks. Even the restaurants here are just made out of wood, like little shacks. This place right here is called Tulum Beach Club. So it actually looks like something that you'd you'd find in Tulum. The style and the design of it. I think we're gonna get our boat just down here. I can see a few boats here. So it's a lot different to the places that we went to in like Alagoas and Pernambuco. There it was more like Caribbean style beaches. Here's a darker water but it's more relaxing overall, a bit more of a, a laid back vibe. Over there was super touristy, very busy. Bom dia, bom dia. Bom dia, bom dia. Yeah. You're cool, uh, yeah. 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 So our first stop on the boat trip is this spot called Ilha da Pedra Furada. That is the Pedra Furada, it's like an arch. All the people waiting for the photo shoot. Won't bother doing that. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah, like a cave. Yeah, a cave on the island. Yeah, so this island, there's not really any proper beach on this one. I think the other ones have proper beaches and places to swim. Just more like rocks, some mangrove areas over there.
Yeah, so around here there's some other spots. I'm not sure where we're going to be stopping. There's a little like sandbank there. The big island back there with a deserted beach. So hopefully we go to some emptier places. Super busy on this uh, little island. Too busy. So this is the next proper stop where we're allowed to stay for like 40 minutes, an hour. So the boat's just gonna wait for us here. So I didn't mention before, but the area we're in is actually a river area. It's not the open ocean. So all these islands are in a, in a river. I didn't realize that people lived on all these islands in the, in the river. Yeah, the guy was telling us that there's like a small island in the middle of the, the river. And there's like uh, 3,000 people living there and they have school, they have everything. It's just like a normal city, like a town, but in the middle of the river. Yeah, yeah so even around here, people live here right on the, the riverfront. Nosso amigo Daniel. Fala oi. Parece Natal. Árvore de Natal? Parece. É, parece, né? Quer ver uma pequenininha? Aonde? A ah, outra árvore de Natal? Uhum. Bem pequena. É bonita. É, bem bonita. A outra também. Você mora onde aqui? Lá no outro lado. Lá no outro lado? Uhum. Quanto tempo pra lá? Um minutinho só. Você vem de lanche? Um bote. Um bote. Pedra pra pé de dourar. Ah, <risos> dois a dois. Quem ganhar a próxima acabou. É, Pedra pra pé de dourar. Ih, perdeu, moleque. Ah. Eu queria apostar 30 reais comigo. Tu vai dar 30 reais pra ele agora, então? Não. Quer mais? Não? Não. Ué. Ah, não vai não. Roubei. <laughs> when was the last time we did a boat tour on like a river like this with islands? Have we ever done it? I don't know, in the river. But here it's different because it's like a river but also ocean. ocean yeah, so it's kind of unique. Yeah, it's like a mix. Yeah. I think the water is salt water still, right? Yeah. yeah. So you can try it. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Yeah, the open ocean is not far that way by boat. stopping quickly on this island here so this is the island that we're gonna have lunch on but we're able to order the food now and then he's gonna take us to another island so we don't have to wait here for the food and then he'll bring us back here and the food will be ready so yeah, that's a really good idea never done that before so I think we're gonna get the grilled fish, fish e grilliano, 90 reais, that's for two people, pretty good prices, right? 
Yeah, for, for like a beach grown restaurant. Yeah. So here's where they order. <laughs> This is the final island that we're gonna stop at. Well, we're still gonna go back to the other one to have lunch, but yeah, this is gonna be the final one where we get to relax. So I think we've got like an hour and 20 minutes here, so a long time. And it's called Ilia do Goyo. So the guy stopped at a really relaxing part. The sand here, super white for some reason. Wasn't like that on the other places. And check this out, this is a really relaxing spot. So it's only us, he stopped on like a little secret beach. I think all the other boats stopped on the other side where there's restaurants and stuff, but yeah, we just asked to stop here instead. So we have it to ourselves. And even though we're stopping at four islands overall, I think it's like four or five islands that we've seen so far. There's loads of islands in this river. And there's another tour that you can do that takes you to some waterfalls where the river and the ocean meet, so. Yeah, there is that one. I think it's more expensive, but yeah, probably worth doing as well. But we chose this uh, four island tour instead. Back on that other island now. I don't know the name. This is the island that we're gonna have lunch on though. So we're having lunch at this spot here, this little shack. Hungry, Carol? Yeah, for a good food of Bahia. Bahia. So I don't know if you can hear me over this loud music, but this is the food. So this is mine and Carol's fish. And I think that's Andre and Larissa's food over there. Carol, there's always live music everywhere in Brazil. Whoa. So we've come back to the second stop, the place that we stopped at the second time with that little kid. So we're gonna be here for about two hours. Probably walk down there though to try and find a quieter spot. Right now there's like three big boats all blasting music. So you're getting some weird mix of different songs all at the same time. <laughs> it is a public holiday by the way, so that's why it's busier. To be honest though, for Brazil on a public holiday, this isn't busy at all. This is quiet for a public holiday, I think. Yeah, if you go to other popular areas of Brazil, especially in Rio or Sao Paulo, you get like a big crowd and this is nothing compared to what you get there. <laughs> yeah, still pretty wild though. Yeah, it is, but we want to find a quiet area, maybe there, that way. Find where, where there's not three songs playing all at the same yeah. time. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Cacao. Cacao. Tangerina. Tangerina. So this is the cacao. This is the cacao. Alcoholic. How much was it? 30. 30? It's caro. This is crime.
que que é isso? É uma água viva? Cuidado, Cara... não <risos> Uou. Caravela, isso. Purple jellyfish. Purple jellyfish. Yeah, I never saw it. I think it's, I don't know, caravela maybe. It's What's caravela? One of the deadliest kind of... Uh, really? Uh, how do you call that? Uh, jellyfish. <laughs> jellyfish, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. It's moving. Yeah, it's alive. I can see it moving. So from that crazy boat party, all we did was walk like one minute. And then you're just in completely deserted beaches here. Everybody just stays at the same area. A lot of people want to party, so I think the people that do those boat tours, yeah, just want like a rave, so that's why they all stay around that area. So the boat trip has ended now and we're back in Baja Grande where we're staying. Way busier than what I showed in the morning though. This is completely different than when we got here in the morning, right? Yeah, it's way busier now, but this part is famous for being uh, like the best sunset spot in the peninsula. So the best why, sunset spot? Yeah, so that's why everybody comes at sunset time. <laughs> yeah, check this out. It's like a, what is that, an orb? So we actually came to this beach the, the other day but we didn't film here at all so we were hanging around this area right here so it's probably the nicest part of the beach kind of bends around the, the palm trees there and I did some surfing here I didn't even know there was surfing in this area but when I got here I saw people surfing so I rented a surfboard for 50 reais and it didn't go too well because I haven't surfed in like seven months so yeah this was the area that that I was surfing in but fairly caught anyways because I'm not very good After the sunset yesterday, we just ended up going into the city centre here in Baja Grande. Really relaxed city centre, it's still with all the, the dirt roads like you saw in the video, but that's where all the restaurants are. It's pretty lively, like uh, chilled out but still lively, so lots of restaurants there. There's fairs selling different kind of things, and a lot of the restaurants have some live music like you keep seeing in all of these Brazil videos, so definitely worth checking out. So this is the room that we stayed in. It's just a little tiny room, but it's pretty good. Check that out. All that we need is love and a dog. <laughs> I agree with that. Got another one here. Uh, near the ocean, we're happier. So I agree with that too. And yeah, everything's pretty modern here. So 
really nice big bathroom and out here we have the balcony area so we got really nice views here check that out and the owners of this place are really nice aren't they yeah so something bad happened to me so i didn't know i was uh, allergic to shellfish or anything because i never usually uh, i never eat shellfish or anything but I ate a big uh, plate of crab on the beach here and then I had a very bad allergy reaction so I was like all itchy and my face was big like swollen but um, the owners of the place they, they took us to the hospital that's uh, around here and then they waited uh, for me there until I got treated so it was very nice and then when we came back I was already feeling better but still recovering and they were making sure I was good. I was. I was doing fine and they even brought us some a, a very delicious cake and tea so they are very very nice people yes yeah, so i'll put the airbnb link in the description because it's a really nice place to stay great breakfast and yeah an awesome location right next to the main beach and now we're going to head to another spot on the peninsula called algodon so yeah we think the next video will be from there if you like this video just drop a like as usual to support us subscribe if you like to see more videos like this Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.